Osama says, if we made a quick ghusl by rinsing the mouth and nose on a Friday or Eid day, which does not include the wudu in the beginning, do we need to make a separate wudu or this quick ghusl is sufficient? Now, this is a frequently asked question. And I think that I'll try my level best to give you an answer that would explain things to you. Wudu is a ritual, is a form of worship. You cannot pray without being in the state of wudu. Agree? Agree. Wudu has pillars mentioned in chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, where Allah says whenever you, O believers, want to pray, you have to, pillar 1, wash your faces. Pillar 2, wash your arms till your elbows. Pillar three, wipe your head. Pillar four, wash your feet up to the ankles. Pillar five, the sequence, the order. So it has to be face, arms, head, and feet. So this is in sequence. And pillar six, simultaneously. It has to be simultaneous. So I cannot wash my face and then go write a few words on my Word document in a novel that I'm writing, and then go back and wash my arms, and then text some of my friends about tonight's dinner, and then wipe over my head. This doesn't work. It has to be simultaneous, one after the other. These are the six pillars of wudu. Without, your wudu is invalid. Agree? Sounds good. Now, if I make ghusl, that is, wash my whole body, rinse my mouth and nose, did I follow the sequence, the order? The answer is nope. Then my wudu is invalid. Okay, sounds logical. But, Sheikh, I have a small question. If I wear in my major ritual impurity state after intercourse or after nocturnal emission, or if I were a woman just finishing my menses, and I take a major ritual impurity ghusl. So ghusl means to wash, to uplift the major Ritual impurity. So, so this ghusl, just washing my whole body, rinsing my mouth and nose, or dipping myself in the ocean, rinsing my mouth and nose, and coming out with the intention of uplifting my ritual impurity. Is my ritual impurity uplifted, the major one? The answer is yes. So do I have to perform wudu? The answer is no. Why? You just said that the order has to be followed. And I did not follow the order here. So why when I make ghusl for Jumu'ah, it is not valid, I have to make wudu. And when I make ghusl for uplifting a major ritual impurity, I don't have to make wudu. This doesn't make sense, Sheikh. It does make sense. When you perform wudu, what are you doing? I am uplifting a minor ritual impurity, which is caused by sleeping, eating camel's meat, urinating, defecating, passing wind. So to uplift this minor ritual impurity, I have to perform wudu. True? True. When you make ghusl to uplift a major ritual impurity, this minor Ritual impurity is included by default. So the smaller form of worship goes under the bigger form of worship. And I give you another example. The Prophet said, Alayhi do not sit until you pray two rak'ahs in the masjid. I came into the masjid, iqama was given. I prayed with the congregation for rak'ahs dhuhr. This is my fard. I finished. 
Should I pray two rak'ah of tahiyyatul masjid, which the Prophet said, alayhi salatu salam, do not sit until you pray it? I says, no. Why? Because the bigger form of worship took in the smaller form of worship. A third and last example. <coughs> in Hajj, the Prophet said, alayhi salatu salam, let it be that tawaf is the last thing you do when Hajj is over. So the last thing you do in Mecca is to make the tawaf. This is known as farewell tawaf. A person who did not do the tawaf in the beginning, which is the day of Eid, and this is a pillar, tawaf al-ifada, he postponed it until the 13th day of the Hijjah, the last thing. After everything was over, the only thing remaining for his, for his Hajj to be complete is to uh, go around the Kaaba. So he makes his Tawaf of Al-Ifadah, seven rounds. Do we say, okay, make another seven rounds for Tawaf Al-Wada'? The answer is no. This Tawaf of Ifadah is a pillar that includes underneath it this minor ibadah which is tawafu al wada or farewell tawaf. Therefore, I hope this clears the issue. Your ghusl does not suffice for your wudu, except when this ghusl is to uplift a major ritual impurity resulting from either ejaculation, intercourse, uh, nocturnal emission, or from being clean from your menses or your postnatal bleeding, nifas. But if you perform ghusl that is not uplifting a major ritual impurity, such as the ghusl of Eid, the ghusl of Friday, the ghusl for Umrah, for Ihram, uh, the ghusl for just cleaning up and cooling down this does not suffice for wudu and Allah knows best.